Hey guys, it's Tyler with Microbiome Test Kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Mortier Pilone jar, the 5 liter kombucha brewing jar that I have been using for about, I'd say, 8 months now, uh, on and off. Of course, I haven't been doing like a constant stream of kombuchas the entire time, but I have, you know, made a few batches and I'd like to tell you guys about it and how I've been using it and how it's been working. Anyway, this jar definitely has some positives and I'd say for one, this jar is just gorgeous. For starters, the packaging and the box that it comes in is just amazing. It has carrying straps on it. It is mango colored. It is just, you know, I would carry my freaking laptop in this um, to school. It's just so nice and it's so aesthetic. It really does seem like this company is a very stylish company, um, which is kind of contrary to a lot of the crusty fermenting community, <laughs> but of which I'm a part of, I'm not dissing it, but um, very sleek. Going onto the jar itself, the jar is also really nice. Uh, it has this like, slanted plastic attachment piece on the bottom um, for purely stylistic purposes, I think, and a little um, screw-on plastic thing on the top. It's really nice all together. And to finish it off, it has this lid that goes on top of the little plastic piece, and that sort of acts as the barrier for dust and for bugs. And this is a pretty nice addition compared to what we usually do which is the burlap uh, piece of fabric or t-shirt and then the rubber band so that's the first positive about this thing it is something that you can be proud to have just sitting on your counter nice talking piece if people come over yay the drought is finally over anyway the second thing that i really liked about this kombucha brewing jar is this spout. A lot of us who started brewing kombucha in the liter glass jars, we usually had to pour out the top, which is not something that is easy. You usually have to use a funnel, especially to get it into small lock lid glass jars that we use to do second ferments. This spout is a really nice thing, and I know a lot of continuous fermenting jars have this the spout that's sort of what makes something a continuous fermenting jar but i just it's a it's, it's a nice thing to have um, it's convenient it's a small enough spout so that when you you know press the button it just goes right into your glass bottle which is great there are some issues with the spout which i'll go into later but for now let's just leave it at that oh and one thing about the spout which is nice which applies for all continuous fermentation crocs is it's really easy to taste a little bit of what's fermenting of the kombucha in there so if you ever want to taste a little bit of it to see if it's too sour or to see if it hasn't gotten sour enough it's a nice little thing to have the kombucha that i'm brewing right now has gotten has been going for maybe like two months um, and it's pretty much vinegar right now so it's nice to just like sometimes just take a shot of the vinegar um, and Anyway, so the third thing that I like about this jar was that it came with a bunch of instructions and guide on, you know, how to start up a fermentation, how to do a continuous ferment. And it also had a lot of recipes for second ferments. Um, unfortunately, I threw that away as soon as I uh, read it because I was like, oh, I don't think I'll need this. Um, but it, I, I think it was something nice that they added. But to be honest, like a lot of us know that we can find most of that information on YouTube and other places where it's more readily available. Anyway, on to the things that are a little bit regrettable about this kombucha brewing jar. I mean, I love it and I love the way it looks. And honestly, the way it looks might be the best part about this jar, which isn't like 
so great. So the first thing basically that I have to rip on this jar a little bit with is the spout. The spout is uh, plasticky. It sometimes leaks. So you need to be aware that sometimes you'll see like little droplets of solidified little pearls. I wish I took a picture of it, but I didn't. Um, that solidify on the ground right below the spout. That's something to look out for. And that's only, you know, it's not like constantly dripping. It's just like a very, very slow leak, I think. And the second thing about the spout is that it's very, very slow. And this is something that is probably the case with most spouts, but it takes a long time to fill up glass bottles. It's a pretty slow spout. And that's something that you might want to look out for. If I was, you know, looking at these things to potentially buy them and it, this wasn't a gift, something that sucks about this is that it's so expensive. This uh, Mordier Pilon, I need to know how to pronounce that correct. This jar is $60 and that's a lot of money for just a jar. It does have a spout and it does look nice, but gotta be, I wanna make sure that you guys are like spending your hard earned money in the right places. Because I mean, if you're getting into kombucha fermenting, I think that your money could be much better well spent on other things. Like, I mean, the first thing that I got when I started fermenting kombucha was this kit by Fermentaholics and that kit came with a SCOBY, it came with a jar with pH strips and a bunch of different recipes and a pipette and it came with like everything you need. And that was $34. So um, this is one of the things that definitely sucks about this jar. Um, of course, you know, that, that uh, fermenting kit that I got before didn't have a spout it was just a liter glass jar like the one we all start out with but it is something worth considering if this is your first time making kombucha overall i think this jar is worth buying if you want to have something that looks really nice on your counter it's also worth buying if you want something with a spout but with that said i haven't tried other long-term for continuous fermenting jars that have spouts on them so that would be something if you guys have tried those if you go, if you guys want to comment down below that would be helpful yeah anyway that's my uh, review of the mortier pilon jar kombucha brewing jar and i hope you guys could get something useful out of it and i'll see you guys next time please like and subscribe uh and comment down below if you have anything. All right, bye.